Supervolcano in southern Italy, the Campi Flegre supervolcano, is building up a huge reservoir of magma and is preparing to erupt at some unspecified point in the future, scientists say. Overlapping craters of varying sizes mark the Campi Flegre volcano, which lies on the western edge of Naples, Italy, and extends into the Mediterranean Sea. Today, more than half a million people live near the dormant volcano, whose rumblings and escaping gases reflect the heat still building beneath it. Twice in the past 60,000 years, massive eruptions of volcanic ash and rock have blanketed the region, and smaller eruptions have occurred before and after each major eruption, including the most recent in 1538. To get clues about what's happening in the magma chamber below, a team of researchers has now studied the chemistry of volcanic rock and glass from historical eruptions, using the data to create a computer model to simulate the conditions that led to the eruptions. Their study, published today in the journal Science Advances, could help scientists understand the wake and sleep cycles of these catastrophic volcanoes. One particular conclusion that might make headlines. The researchers conclude that the magma beneath Campi Flegre may be entering a building phase, with the potential to culminate, at some undetermined point in the future, in a large-scale eruption, the team wrote in their study. To be clear, the volcano is not currently headed for disaster. The researchers are actively monitoring the system and looking for signs that could signal an impending eruption. Any hypothetical major eruption is likely to occur far in the future, perhaps thousands of years or more. As magma crystallizes inside the planet, its tiny mineral fragments acquire chemical cues that can reveal information about its parent magma, such as its temperature and water content. As Forney explains, these characteristics could provide clues about what's happening inside the volcano before each eruption, and may hold the key to why eruptions are sometimes small and sometimes powerful. To unravel the region's complexities, Forney and his colleagues examined volcanic material from 23 eruptions, analyzing its chemical composition to identify signs of its formation. The researchers then fed this information into a computer model that simulated Campi Flegre's eruption since its last major eruption 15,000 years ago. Overall, the samples of erupted material suggest a cycle of magma cooling and heating, similar to what has previously been thought to occur at other large volcanoes. But the new results use modern methods to paint a much more detailed picture. In general, the cycle begins with a slow buildup of magma in a magma chamber, leading to a large explosion that forms a crater. The eruptions that follow these major events were relatively small and frequent outbursts of hot, dry magma that likely originated from deep within the Earth and did not last long when they were released. Over time, the magma began to collect in the magma chamber, cool, and crystallize slightly. Like the salt that freezes out of seawater when ice forms, the water dissolved in the magma did not mix as much with these crystals, increasing its presence in the remaining melt. This means the eruption has more water and the temperature is dropping. The rumbling has also sparked some debate about its cause, and recent research suggests that the tremors do not reflect a shallow chamber refilling with magma, Troy says. However, with such a dense population nearby, any eruption could prove deadly, and an event as large as the 1538 eruption could happen in the future.
That's why studying how campi flegre works is so important. In the meantime, the team at the Vesuvius Observatory is actively monitoring the volcano's every whisper so that if it is indeed active, they will hear it.